My name is Chris Moline. I'm an AQS certified appraiser of quilted textiles and a quilt collector. This exhibit is the From Hands Alone exhibit at the AQS show here in Grand Rapids. These quilts are all made by hand from the stitching, the applique, the piecing, all the way through the quilting and binding. There are a large number of quilts here on display, 22 in total for this display. Um, they're from all around the Midwest and New England, some even into the southeast of, of the United States. They range in age from 1840 to 1930s, 40s, I think there's even a 1950s in here. There's a large variety of styles. The ones behind me are predominantly pieced. There are others that are applique, which we'll move on to a little bit later. This particular quilt back here is a hairpin catcher. The hairpin catcher is themed after the little ceramic or china catcher that would catch ladies' hairpins on their uh, dresser. And that's why the pieces are rectangles and not squares. This particular quilt is one of my favorites because at the time that I owned this, I also had a Karen Terrier. And one of the patches in this quilt is the frontal image of a dog. These quilts are also pieced, a little bit more complex in design. This one on this side, they're diamonds. <laughs> diamonds are probably one of the more difficult piecing assignments except when you're working by hand because you can match corners and make sharp points more easily. So a diamond quilt is one of the easier quilts to do by hand. Today with our machines, we'd strip piece to create this, but this starburst is from the 1840s. The one over here on this side is an ocean waves. It's not your traditional ocean wave quilt, but it's still the same pattern. But it has a wonderful display of the different yellows throughout, which kind of give it a sparkling aspect. The prince's feather over here is a wonderful example of applique. Also of hand quilting. There are very, very fine hand quilting stitches in this quilt. All the open areas are quilted in different designs, which gives it a wonderful in interest and it displays the mastery of hand quilting from the time period. I also love her little bows all the way around. Just an excellent example of the quilt and of a princess feather. This is a Mariner's Compass floral cross. Now today, we would do this piecing a lot differently to get these little tiny spikes. But back in 1850, she didn't have a rotary ruler or she didn't have the, all the tools that we would have today to make those little tiny spikes in there. Every circle has the same number of spikes. And so we know that she spent a lot of time and probably was an excellent mathematician as well to make those circles come out perfectly every time. And then adding the tulips around the edge, you know, just makes it kind of shine and sparkle and gives it a lot of flavor. And her quilting also is excellent throughout. Thank you for taking the time to look at this exhibit or a portion of the exhibit. The exhibit will also be shown in Fall Paducah and also in Charleston. So if you have the time, come on by and see more of the quilts and this wonderful display in wonderful lighting. Again, thank you.